one here. So here's the dealio. I am doing a screencastify to show you my reading wrap up for February. Okay, so as you can see on that side of the screen, I pulled up all of the books that I have currently uh, read for, oh gosh, there's so many books. Okay. So, I've read 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 books, it says, for January, I believe, which is insane. Okay, so I've read, like, 20 books for January, which is completely insane, so let me double check that. I don't know if that's just showing this month or what's going on Ugh, that's my fucking computer stop thank you okay so we're gonna see for 100 fact on where i stop because i think i'm missing some to be honest with you <clears throat> so let me see here January, 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 January. January was obviously a really good month then for me. Okay, so maybe someday I read um, January 1st. Uh, Influence Love is actually one of my net galleys. As you see, there is a thing there. Um, so I did Influence Love. I did Maybe Someday. I finished Influence Love January 10th. Now, to talk about <clears throat> Maybe Someday, I thought it was all right. I didn't think it was the greatest, but I did give it five stars because it is a Colleen Hoover book, and I absolutely love Colleen Hoover. So, like, any Colleen Hoover book, as long as it gives me, like, any type of emotion, I will give it five stars. Because it is always written perfectly, wonderful, and all that fun stuff. I'm sorry, my brain light is, like, giving me a glare on my glasses. Um, Influence Love, I gave five stars. Uh, that comes out, ooh, I want to say the end of February. So, it's not even out yet. I got it from NetGalley. Um, it was really a great read. I really enjoyed it. It's by Shelly Marie. <clears throat> um, I finished it. Oh, yeah. February 12th, 2022 is when it comes out. I finished it January 10th, and I could not put it down. I started it, and, like, it was my night book to read, like, when I couldn't sleep and stuff, and I got it done in a couple days. It was so good. Um, basically, she's an influencer. She falls in love with this guy. It's got a fake dating trope in it. It's pretty great. Um, there is a sabotage of the fake daters uh assistant or something really good you would enjoy it next i have overload which is from the library i have it right here actually Linda howard's overload they get stuck in a building during a power outage and um they don't like each other so you you be the one for that um, you'll see on here The Sorority Murder by Alyssa Brennan. Now, I gave this five stars. I also finished it on January 10th as well. And um, it's, oh, let's see. It's what? A sorority, a murder, um, sorority murder, unsolved murder, uh, a whodunit situation. Like, what more can you ask for? I gave it five stars. Oh, I gave Linda Howard's Overload four stars. Um, it's a short read. It's only like 135 pages, 140 pages, something like that. Super short read. <clears throat> then I got did Dark Screams Volume 1. It's by various authors. It is right here. And I gave that three stars. It just wasn't really my cup of tea. I think it's because it's January and I'm trying to do spooky uh, books during January and it just doesn't work out very well for me. So there's that. Um, I did get my Buzzwordathon done for um, <clears throat> this uh, month and that is How to Eat Like a Hot Chick, How 
and Eat What You Love and Love How You Feel by Jodi Lipper and Serena Vincent. I gave it four stars. I thought it was a really good read. I thought it was fun and cute, and it's got some really great things in there, like definitely note-worthy book, like note-taking worthy book, um, if you want to try and like fix your appetite and what you eat and stuff. Not necessarily dieted. <clears throat> it does not tell you to diet. Okay, that's one thing it does not do. All it tells you is what to, you know, kind of try and stay away from if you want to eat like a hot chick. Um, that's somewhere. It's on my shelf somewhere, but I turned my uh, books, as you can see, kind of like right, where is it? Right there. They're turned when I finish them. Um, I did start a new series. It is called the Fold Me Once series. And it's only like 131 pages. I gave it five stars. It was fantastic. The shower scene is amazing. But it is Shame on You, book one by Tara Civic. Um, this was surprisingly smutty. But yeah, it says right here, Fool Me Once, uh, book one. First in the Fool Me Once series. So... Yes, it was great. It was wonderful. It was a fun time. I really enjoyed it. Um, oh. Okay, so next we have The Girl Who Chased the Moon by Sarah Addison Allen. Now, this book was um, a doozy, let me tell you. I finished it January 12th, but this book was actually a doozy. It was pretty interesting. The thing I love the most about this was that there was like a little romance in it there's bakery in it that there's food spoken in it It was really great great time dealt with a, a daughter who lost a mother and like for the longest time i thought it had something to do with werewolves but it did not <laughs> uh, but there is like this really great uh wallpaper in it that you like it changes with your mood i thought that was really neat um, then I did a graphic novel, and that is Girl Town by Carolyn Nowak. I gave it four stars. It's only 160 pages, but I thought it was kind of fun. Um, this is more for, like, adults and things like that because there are um, some naked scenes and some sex scenes that are illustrated out, but it's mainly, like, a self-love women, love women situation. Really, really great. Finished it on January 14th. I don't know where it's at right now, but What a Doll uh, by Creepover. This is the book number 12, I believe. I want to say it's book 12. I'm not 100% sure, but it is part of the uh, Creepover series that I did. Uh, if you guys watched my unhaul or my, my haul video, I had gone to the library, uh, fill a bag for $5 dollars. Um, sale and I got like 12 or 14 out of 20 of the creepover middle grade book series. I gave it two stars though. I don't think I'm really a middle grade person or just it was way too middle grade for me. I don't know. But I finished that on January 16th. Um, I don't know where this one is, but this was my absolute favorite book. I forgot that I had this. This is part of my backlist TBR for 2021. Okay. I forgot that I had this book sitting on my shelves. I did a sample of it because it sounded really good. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I was cleaning one day and I was like, wait a minute, I own that book. So I read it. I'm so glad I read it. It is called The Assassin Game by Christy McKay. It is somewhere. Oh, it is not. Huh. It's not on here. Interesting. I'm confused. Um, anyway, I guess some of these books weren't actually the right ones because I'm missing quite a few. Anyway, whatever. I, maybe these are just the ones that I did reviews for. Um, the Assassin Game by Christy Michaelo. I gave it five stars. I finished it on January 21st. Um, it was another one of those after I finished Influence Love. It was another one of those books that was like my nighttime read. So great. It's basically about like a, a school campus or a college campus. I couldn't really figure out if it was a university or not. And they play the scavenger hunt game. And like they have all these cool ways to kill people. Okay. But 
it, it gets pretty gruesome and it's pretty great. Uh, it keeps you on your toes. And it was another whodunit situation and I was very surprised at the ending. That's all I'm going to say. Next, I did A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I gave that three stars. I finished that January 21st. I am honestly trying to, um, I am trying to start, uh, with the, uh, Akatar series. I've heard so much about it. I wanted to read A Court of Thorns and Roses for so long. And I finally just was like, you know what? My one friend, my, my friend Kira, hey Kira girl, hey if you're watching this, what's up? You got me into Akatar, I'm so happy about it. I can't wait to check out your favorite series, Red Queen. But she got me into it. She was like, you know, you really need to try it out. I think you'd really enjoy it. You know, because like the assassins and stuff like that and, you know, the, the being hunted and stuff and just the woman empowerment and, you know, feminism and stuff. It was it was really great. It was. I am actually going to continue with the series. I don't know how many books are in the series. I think it's like a trilogy or four in a series or five in a series. I don't know. I think the next one is um, <clears throat> A Court of <sighs> Mist and Fury, maybe? It's like green or something. So um, next I did uh, Little Rumors by Byrony Pierce. That is another Night Galley release. It does not come out until March 31st of 2022. I finished it January 22nd. Um, I gave it five stars. I thought it was fantastic. It was wonderful. It does take place in another country. So the, the communication and the words that they use is kind of like weird to me. I couldn't really understand it too much, but like at the beginning it does give you like a glossary of like the words and stuff and what they mean. Um, this one was about a little girl that goes missing and, uh, it de deals with a serial killer father and a kid who is the spawn of the serial killer father and a mother who goes into basically like protection and stuff like witness protection and then people find out her identity. It's pretty great. It's it's a whirlwind of a book. Another whodunit situation. Um, I will spoil it for you. The girl does survive. I'm sorry. I have to spoil it because of the fact that there's some people that will not read a book if it deals with a dead child, and I completely understand. Um, yeah, I gave it five stars. Um, I did Love, Hate, and you know, can't see it on here. Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. Um, that's 281 pages. I gave it three stars. It was pretty great. It did deal with a lot of racism and things like that, so it was kind of a little hard-hitting um but she is oh i can't remember i don't remember i don't want to say anything you know inappropriate or wrong because i don't want to come off as racist at all so i'm going to say that she's just not from the country and she lives she resides in chicago and then there's like a tourist situ or not a tourist a uh, terrorist situation and she's in school when it happens and everybody kind of blames her for it and they steer clear of her but she's got like this this dream to uh be in movies and be an actress and stuff like that it's a really beautiful story actually um i only gave it three stars because it just didn't keep my interest as much so um i finished that january 25th and then the next one i finished was uh the Body Lies by Joe Baker. This one I did not realize was a thriller until I saw the thriller sticker. And the entire time I'm like, how is this a thriller? And then I'm like, wait a minute. And I really enjoyed this. It was I gave it four stars. Um, it's 288 pages and I finished it January 26th. But I gave it four stars. It was so good. So um like unput downable. You do not want to put it down. You want to keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. But like I read 12 or 13 chapters straight but not like really chapters um the cool thing about this one is it deals with like the it uh has complaints to the college administrator about somebody it deals with um a, a cheating spouse a separation long distance relationship situation kind of goes into ldr so i finally found a book kind of that goes in ldr um and then it has like a really crazy twist and now i understand why it's a thriller 
but it was so good. I absolutely loved it. You guys should really check it out. All right, then I did Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. I know everybody has told me, Ashlyn, why did you do Vengeful when you haven't done Vicious yet? Uh, it's from the Villains uh, duology. I <laughs> didn't know that that was not the first book, so but it's okay because I totally did it completely backwards because there's even the Extraordinary, which is the EOs which is the EOs situation that they have. And um, the EOs is actually the Extraordinary, and I already read the comics of V.E. Schwab's EOs. <coughs> Goodness, I am so sorry. I had to sneeze. I'm um, sorry. I'm getting over still being sick, um, but I am doing a lot better. I'm finally drinking coffee and stuff. But anyway, back to the book. Um, V.E. Schwab, if you're watching this, I absolutely love you. I'm so happy that I picked up your books. Sorry, my phone just keeps going off. Stop. Oh, my Jesus, Pachichas. Are you done? So sorry. My phone keeps going off because everybody's like, do you need anything? When are you coming back to work? When are you going to be able to work? Da, 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 all this other stuff. <laughs> Anyway, with that being said, I totally read it in the wrong order. I should have done Vicious, Vengeful, then the comics to understand more, but I didn't, but it's okay. I am going to get to Vicious at some point, though, honestly, even though I totally went backwards, but it's okay. Um, anyway, I finished those January, that, that January 27th. I did that uh, via Hoopla audio, so that was fun. I gave it four stars. I did another one off of my backlist TBR. Uh, it's called Severance by Ling Ma. And I gave it four stars. It, I finished it January 28th. It deals with uh, up the pandemic situation. And what's crazy is this came out in 2018. So this is way before the pandemic even happened. And I thought it was like really interesting and stuff. It was kind of hard to listen to at some points because of what we're going through now. And I just thought it was unbelievable. Um, and then the very last book that I literally just finished just like 20 minutes ago uh, while watching a movie called Welcome Home on Netflix. It's called Helen and Troy's Epic Road Quest by Ailey Martinez. And it's a fantasy. I decided to pick up a fantasy, guys. I know. Who is she? She is doing fantasy now. I'm also doing wrap-ups. But this was like, Mystic Journeys aren't all that they're cracked up to be. This dealt with Minotaurs and gods and uh, uh, goblins and ogres and just this crazy quest that these kids get stuck to go on. And they don't even really know each other. They just work together. And a hamburger god <laughs> who is like a diminished or, I don't know, he's like, a banished god. Um, it deals with that and stuff. And they go on this crazy quest to like survive. I thought it was really good. It did take me a while because I'm not really a big fantasy person. I'll be honest. I'll be the first one to admit I'm not a fantasy person. But I still got through it, you know. So. And. I think that is it. I will show you the books I am currently working on. So, I'm currently reading five books. I have... Hold on. Oh, yeah. This is kind of, like, not making sense. I still have on here uh, Helen and Troy's Epic Road Quest. So, technically, I'm working on four books. Um, the first one being The Date from Hell, which is another Nut Galley release that comes out... Ooh, um... <coughs> <laughs> April 5th of 2022. It's so good so far. I'm really enjoying it. It deals with the underworld, the gates made of bones and stuff, and the devil's son falling and falling in love with a human woman. And I, I don't understand exactly how they met, but they did. And I just got to this part where she takes over luke which is the devil's son's powers so she gets his wings and everything and has to figure out all the powers and stuff that come with it and he in turns human 
and they have to basically prove to is it lucifer yeah i think it's lucifer himself that they can change and this this person can be changed for the better <coughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate being sick. Anyway, there's that one I'm working on. It's going to be done here soon. I'm like more than... <sighs> sorry. I'm a little more than uh, a third of the way through it. So it's pretty great. Um, and then I have I'll Be Gone in the Dark, which is another one off my backlist TBR. I am honestly trying to work through my backlist TBR. I have a whole list in my, um, bullet journal section that is the TBR list. And I wrote them all down from Goodreads specifically. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I told you, everybody, mom, work, everybody, I'm still not better. I'm trying to get there. Um, but anyway, uh, there's I'll Be Gone in the Dark. It deals with following the Golden State Killer and things like that. I'm going to sneeze again. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. I'm getting really irritated. <laughs> David, I am so sorry. I'm trying to do a video for you guys, and I'm, like, dying over here at the same time. I don't know where the mute button is or anything like that. Maybe it's this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking too much. I, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to end the video. I'm almost done. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it's about following the Golden State Killer and things like that. It's pretty great. You know, it's wonderful. Why am I sneezing again? <clears throat> anyway. Okay, and then uh, the next one I'm reading is The Sexy Librarian's Book of Erotica. I'm still cu currently working on that. It's uh, pretty great. deals with a bunch of different anthology stories and things like that. <coughs> and then the last one I'm reading is How to Break a Boy. I'm going to end it here because I don't know what's going on. I'm having a sneeze attack. I love you guys. I hope I see you in the next video. Kisses, love, whatever, you know. Bye.